I don't know about you, and maybe it's because I live in Florida where it's hot most of the year, but when I think of winter, I'd like to idealize an aesthetic. A hot beverage in a book, looking out the window and looking at the beauty that is the cold weather. A super soft, cozy sweater, and of course, a cat to go with it. But the reality is a little bit different. I hate cold weather. Can't stand it. Yep, no romance here, which made me think. If you've watched any Hallmark romantic comedy, you know that being a baker is one of the main professions that the main character has. Well, I'm a baker, so let's go over all the ways in which my life is and is not like a Hallmark baby. I am surrounded by delicious things that I get to experiment in the kitchen. However, most of it is just making the same thing over and over again. I do get the occasional aesthetic moment in a coffee shop. However, most days I look like this in the kitchen. I do get to sell at farmer's markets, which is a lot of fun, but sometimes it looks a lot less like this and more like this or this. And in order to get the glamorous moments like this, seeing my stuff in grocery stores and serving a bunch of people, there's a whole lot of this and this and this and this. So basically, it's a lot of work, but it's fun. I wouldn't call it romantic, but it's fun. Plus, I get to eat as much bread as I like, so yeah. Overall, definitely a good gig. But even the best gigs have the really bad days. This is one I had recently. So I'm at the commercial kitchen and I'm trying really, really hard not to cry right now because I'm gonna show you what I'm looking at. In case you were wondering, this is what happens when an entire rack of croissants, freshly baked croissants, tips over and falls on its side. I literally just spent the last three days making these croissants. Hundreds of croissants. I don't know if I'll be able to salvage any of them. Sure, it's yours and I'm selling this side here, you know? Mm-hmm. Okay. One of the worst things is that like you can't just start crying like a toddler when shit like this happens and like all I want to do right now is just like cry. <laughs> As I fish these croissants out of the wreckage, like I spent three days working on this and now it's just like trash. <laughs> like. In the end, I was able to salvage about two dozen of the croissants, which was a very small quantity, so the majority ended up in this big pile of smushed, destroyed, and horribly distorted croissants. You know that expression, you can either cry about it or you can do something about it? Well, I did both. I cried about it, and then I got myself to Target, where troubles go away, and I just stared at pretty things, I looked at some makeup, I ended up buying this brow pencil from NYX, which I'm really liking by the way. I listened to my audiobook, more on this in just a second. Made myself some pasta because carbs make everything better. I used the Trader Joe's Parmesan and then I used my emergency Diet Coke. Yes, I keep an emergency Diet Coke in the back of my fridge for days like this. Oh my God, you guys, I am shook. I am listening to that book that I was just talking to you about and so good it's so good i keep like i keep listening to it and just going like <gasps> no it's definitely a romance if you're into that it also has a little bit of magical realism and if you love books you'll love this like mm, definitely good i am kind of slacking on my actual reading like reading of physical books though it's gonna take forever for me to drive across this intersection well you can keep me company near the year i started reading little women for the first time and honestly i thought i was gonna hate it i thought i was going to hate it because i'm really not a fan of like regency era novels in general uh like wuthering heights and pride and prejudice and all that you would think i'd be into it but mm, not really my cup of tea i'm really enjoying it i watched the movie a few years ago and i I like that. The nonfiction book that I read this month was The Infinite Game, and it was for a book club. I didn't love it, guys. I didn't love it. It's Simon Sinek, and I don't know. I didn't really love it. The whole thing, the whole premise of the book is that 
business is an infinite game. It's not like something that you win. You're never gonna win a medal for winning business. Like that's not how it works. Like, winning the game of business is just staying in the game and staying in business. Like a really cool premise, but like could have been a 10 minute TED talk. But it was nice to have a book club about it. It was, it was all right. Okay, okay, now everybody stop talking because I gotta back up into this ramp and not make a fool out of myself. Why is doing things like that so stressful? I is already waiting in the dock. It's like parallel parking in front of other people, you know? Oh Lord. And a little bit to the right. You hit anything or anyone. non-romantic non-exciting part of the business today i'm actually running around doing a lot of those tasks right now we're picking up boxes the croissants need to be transported to the cafes and wholesalers and they need to go in boxes so that's what we're picking up today you went to get some missing pallets also but can we take a moment to see that the bangs are banging and i'm not dressed like a kitchen troll today it's a small thing I brought you two inch because it seems to be the most popular. So, so much. Uh, Have a good day. They're always so nice in here. They're nice people and I can tell the first time I came here just by what they have hanging on their cubicles. And because nothing says glamour and excitement like Home Depot, let me tell you about my latest adventure. I've been trying to find a way to warm up the croissants at markets because a croissant at room temperature is great, but it's amazing when it's warmed up. After some research, I decided I was going to try a pizza oven, one of those portable pizza ovens. So I got one at Home Depot and I set it up in my backyard to try it out and test it out and see if the croissants would get warmed up. This was a pain to set up. Up. it took forever and I almost burned my eyebrows off we thankfully do not have footage of that but let's just say it wasn't pretty it was way too heavy it was way too clunky so this was not the right option and if you're wondering why I just don't get like a toaster oven it's because we're not allowed to have electricity in most markets so then I don't know why I didn't try this to begin with but I decided to try out just the grill that we have at home and see if that worked out now get ready for the jump scare I was looking was extremely good. fabulous when we did this okay Oh, see, now they're flaky. Oh yeah, you hear that? Ah, really hot though. Yeah, that's, mm, yeah, that's it. Do you wanna try it? It's really hot. Flaky. Very flaky though. How do I turn this off? Okay, we start. Oh. Mm -hmm. And now, righty tighty. So the next day I went back to Home Depot, returned the pizza oven, and got this portable grill. I really hope it turns out. I'm gonna test it out this week, take it to the market, and I will let you know in the next video how it all turns out. Thanks for watching!